Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God praise for another opportunity He has given to us to be here today. Today is Monday, the day recognized as the day of businesses, work. Therefore, I am praying for you, whatever you are listening to me, that this week will be a week of blessing for you. Every calamity, sorrow, tears, they are cancelled in the name of Jesus. This week, power to serve God, power to please God, power to walk in the will of God, receive it in the name of Jesus. Long time expectation that you have been believing God for, it will get to your hand this week. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Now, the best way to start our day is by giving praise to God. Very, very important. Very, very important is by giving thanks and gratitude appreciation to God. So please go ahead and do that and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. In Luke chapter 1, verse 25, Luke 1, 25, the Bible says, Thus as the Lord dealt with, with me, in the days we are in, he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. Thus as the Lord dealt with me in the days we are in, he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. This was the testimony of Elizabeth. You know, testimony of Elizabeth. What happened? They got married as a young couple. Elizabeth was the wife of Zachariah and they were a wonderful couple serving the Lord. They were committed to God. Serve, committed to the service of God. Zachariah was a pastor. The wife was so supportive and they were serving God. And as a young couple, they grew up to become old and they had no child. And suddenly the Lord visited them. And after God visited her, this was her testimony. He said, Thus as the Lord dealt with me in the day wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach from among men. I am sent to you this morning, whenever you are listening to me, and the word of the Lord to you is that your reproach shall be taken away in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that reproach in your life shall be taken away in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that reproach may be, the testimony of Elizabeth, that her testimony was that God took it away. I pray for you, your whole reproach also shall be taken away in Jesus' name. Whether it is a reproach in the area of childbearing for Elizabeth, it was barrenness. It has become reproach for her. Maybe your own is joblessness. Maybe your own is you know, inability to get married. Maybe your own is financial difficulty. Maybe your own is non-achievement. You know, maybe your own is failure in all area. Whatsoever the reproach may be, the word of the Lord for you is that shall be taken away. So therefore I stand as someone sent from heaven to declare into your life that that reproach in your life ever will terminate it. Just like that of Elizabeth, it shall be taken away in the name of Jesus. So that is what we are going to use to pray today. You will cry to the the whole Lord, my Father, my Father, take away my reproach. Terminate it in my life. Remove it in my life. Terminate it in my life. You did it for Elizabeth. Come and do it for me. And when you are praying that prayer, pray that prayer with Luke chapter 1, verse 25. You can, in fact, you can read from verse 10 to 25. And as you pray that prayer, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. If you have not given your life to Christ, quickly pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, be my Lord, be my Savior with my heart. I believe and with my mouth I confess that you are the Lord. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Please help us to share this message. Don't keep it to yourself. Share it through our word, your WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube. Share it and let it go viral. And the Lord will bless you. And don't forget our Bible reading. We must read the Bible through this year. Be committed to it. The Lord will bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.